Hey y'all, I am back with another video and this time I'm going to show you my current setup in my traveler's notebook. I've been working really hard on figuring out exactly what I want in here and making it work for me. Um, and I'm really happy with it and I still have a couple of things in the works that I am going to add to it. Um, mainly a, um, a fabric double zip wallet type thing that I hope will fit in here and look right. Um, I'm making it and it's all trial and error right now. So we'll see. Um, but I'm pretty excited about the, um, possibility of it. So I haven't been, I found, I've been trying all different kinds of journaling over the past eight months. I, um, have tried so many different things and I'm finally like, because I feel like it's been like a pendulum. I've just been like trying like what other people do and then I'll try what this person does. And, um, I feel like I'm finally hitting my stride or like really zoning in on what I want to do. Like what is my, my aesthetic and what, um, speaks to me and like what I want to put on the page and how it feels comfortable and also sustainable because some of the things that I was trying just it took too long or it was hard to get to it took materials that I just didn't have on hand and so what I've done in this is I've made something that is able to be carried around with me you know in all the places around the house that I'm going to right now um but I mean, I can have it in my chair in the living room and it's really easy. I mean, right now it's pretty small. Um, I have everything I need basically like in this, everything certainly that I need just to journal. Um, and then I can add things later if I want to. So let me just go ahead and show you. So, um, this is this, I loosened this a little too much, this elastic, but I'll fix that later. Um, but I made this little, um, what do you call this? It's like a bar, uh, but I stamped my word of the year, abide, on it. I made the, these a long time ago. Um, they were necklaces that I was making, and now I just have a bunch of them sitting around. Um, it's an actual envelope that I crocheted. And I have this little piece of writing in here. Reverse. Um, I actually have a bunch of these and I could sell them if anybody's interested. I just don't know like what to do with them. They're just sitting right now because I'm not making necklaces anymore. And they're kind of cool as a journal charm. There's a tassel I made and just some strips of fabric and um, let me tell you what's in here. So I have had this little pouch for a little while. I got it at Tuesday morning and I liked it, but I basically just have had it sitting in my studio for a while. Not sure what I should do with it. And then I realized, like, I don't have the one that I've been using right here, but I had a different pencil pouch that I was using all the time, which is why I didn't need this. But that one is one of those, like, long fat ones. It's kind of skinny, but it's round. And when I put it on my notebook, it just kind of sticks out too much. But this one's flat, um, but yet it still holds a good bit. And it, I feel like it's a nice fit for my traveler's notebook. So right now, what I put in here is just the things that I might need in here. I just stuck this in here. I haven't even used this one yet. It's a Tombow dot, like, it, um, dot adhesive. So it's permanent, but it's just little dots, which I've heard might be kind of easier to use than the strips. I don't know, we're gonna try it out. So I have my fountain pens in here. I mainly use these two. Can you tell what my favorite color is? <laughs> this is a uh, Lamy Safari in light blue uh, macaron. And this is a Twisby Eco in mint. And they are filled with, this one has platinum uh, carbon ink that is waterproof, black, 
uh, just black ink. And this one has um, this, which is something I've had for a long time. Let me make sure it's closed. Um, Private Reserve Gray Flannel. And it's a kind of a light gray color, I'll show you. But it has like a little bit of like a blue-green tint to it, which is pretty. And I bought that in Atlanta a long time ago. And then I have these, I don't use them a lot. Um, this has, uh, I don't have them right here, but this has like a purple ink in it and this one has a green ink and I don't use a lot of colored inks, but I figured if I want them, they're there. And those are all my fountain pens. I also have a glue pen. I think I got this at Dezo or um, like near Seattle one time years ago this is a ballpoint pen it's kind of cute and this is my favorite highlighter pen it's like this fluorescent red color and I use it all the time um, to kind of check things off or underline things or just anything that I want to stand out and that's everything in there so it's pretty like light. I just got a date stamp that is self inking. I feel like it's probably going to be a little big, but my hope is that it will fit in here too so that I always have a date stamp to carry with me and I don't have to carry an ink pad, but that's, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. All right. So before I open this, I want you to know that I have journaled in here and I'm going to like show you, I'm not censoring anything because there's nothing like too private. But I do think it's kind of weird if you read my journaling and then like ask me about it. Because even though I'm showing you, it's not like I'm showing you to read it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just like being open. If you read it, whatever. But just don't like, don't like ask me questions about it because that's weird. Okay. All right. So this is a dashboard that I made um, and it goes through to the back. Uh, I, I just used some scrapbook paper and sized it so that it would fit like the front is the size of uh, insert uh, the back is and then I have this like piece of paper that spans kind of behind it's I don't know it's like about an inch wide or something and this was all trial and error. I covered it with contact paper because I don't have a laminator yet. Um, and I put everything under the contact paper, but this is above it, stuck to it. And how I did the pockets is I um, laminated those with contact paper separately. And then there's one here and one here. And then I just stitched the whole thing around the edges. Because the contact paper like I cut it to the edge and I could tell some areas, especially where the washi tape is, it did not want to stick to the washi like at all. So, but since it's stitched down, it's staying really well. It's fine. So I really love that. I've got some um, post-it notes stuck on here. I have this to hold them down because they don't stay very well on their own. This is just like a dashboard to put stuff. And then, like I said, these are pockets where I'm just stuck a little papers and then this is one of those inserts I think so this is a traveler's company um, notebook and these are I think this is also by traveler's company this little um, thing uh, and I just have some washi cards and some little card stickers business cards, some tabby things in here. Okay, so I covered my journal. This is also a Traveler's Company note, uh, insert, notebook insert that is like blank paper. And I love this paper. So I'm very happy to stick with this company for this. And I covered it with fabric actually this is a um it's a vintage like napkin i think like a fabric napkin that i've been carrying around and it's funny because this is not like a me pattern 
I don't know, but I love it. And so it is me. <laughs> and I'm really into florals right now. And I'm not really like a florally kind of girl, but I guess I am now. And I'm embracing it. I love it. So, yeah. So I love this cover. It makes me so happy. And I've just um, started. So I will have an... It's, I'm not going to finish it in May. I just started it. And I don't know how long it'll take me. So I'm leaving part of that blank. And what I'm doing is I'm just sticking stickers and um, washi tape and doing some lettering and that's it. And so it's super easy. I don't take a lot of time to do it. Um, I've got some pretty stickers recently. These things are from Illustrated Faith's Print and Pray Shop. So they're just printables that you can buy, download to your computer, and then print yourself. And so um, I use clear sticker paper. A lot of people use clear sticker paper. Um, and I like the clear sticker paper because it's super thin. So it doesn't add a whole lot of bulk to the page. It's just, it's just pretty and it's there. And if I do cover up any words, I can still read it. So I think you can on this one like you know it's on top of the words but you can still read through it this is a washi sticker I just put in an order recently from Wawa um, stationery on Etsy and I got a pack of stickers I'm excited to use um, these I'm not gonna get them all out there's a ton there's like some botanicals these I got because they have a lot of windows in them and um, there's some like crochet doily type things and really interesting old things. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't love all of them, but there are so many in the pack that there's plenty for me to enjoy for a while. And these are my favorite. This junk food. So there's like pizza and Coke and Starbucks in there, which is hilarious. So I'm gonna really love working with those. So anyways, yeah, I got some stickers so that I can just put stickers down and, um, and write, which is what I did here. Look, new stickers. All right, moving on. That is my like main journal for just like writing. And this is my examine journal. So this is something I started a while back. Um, I wanted a way to, I should probably just talk about this separately because it's kind of a big subject but I'll, I'll just say real quick here and if you have any questions you can comment and ask me um, but the, so um, how do I begin there's a, a certain type of prayer by uh, like in Ignatian spirituality so St. Ignatius uh, where you just like examine your life your spiritual life at different periods in a day or like for a period of time. I don't, I'm not an expert on it, but there's just like different ways you can do it. And one of those ways that you can do it is just at, um, I mean, I think it's suggested to do like morning and night or morning, noon and night, I don't know, but I just do it at night. Before I go to bed, I do kind of my own, like simplified, <laughs> dumbed down version of the examine simply because my days blend from one to the other and I often like feel like I'm not accomplishing anything. I'm a mama to two little kids and especially since like we don't have any like activities outside the house, I don't feel like, I don't know, I just feel like sometimes the days are not going anywhere and I get to the end of it and I just go to bed feeling kinda blah about everything. And so this really helps me to be more present in my life. It helps me to reflect on things and just get them down so that I have a written um, record of some things <laughs> that I've done in the day. And, it, and so because I do it before bed, it just helps me like kind of get ready to sleep and then start again the next day. And it takes me anywhere from like I don't know, five to 10 minutes usually. Um, and I'm gonna, once again, this might be like personal and sensitive, but I am just gonna show you because 
uh, because that's just the kind of person I am. I don't mind showing you. I just don't want a lot of weird questions about it. About like, for instance, my health because I haven't been feeling well. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, just don't, <laughs> like you can read it as if like you accidentally stumbled upon it on my dining room table and oops, you read it, but you're not gonna like let me know. Do you understand? Okay, so this is what I do. Gratitude, did well, do better. So I write three things every day. And so for this first day, I've done it in another notebook, and I'll talk about that at another time because it did not work for me, that notebook. Um, so this is why I put it in here, and I'm loving it so far. It's very simple, just what I was grateful for for the day, and I just do like one sentence typically. It doesn't have to be a long list. I put um, what I did well. I felt like how I like did something that day that uh, I was proud of or that I would do again. And then the third one is just what I could do better. Um, and it could be something really serious, like I really messed up, or but usually it's just kind of like, well, I, I really could have eaten better. Shouldn't have eaten those like 10 Hershey's nuggets <laughs> or whatever. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm only on day, like today will be day three. And, um, and so that's what I'm gonna fill this up with that. So that'll be good. And then that's kind of it. Um, this is a little card that I got from my mom several years ago. She is, um, she died in 2015 and I found this recently in a book. Um, like I, I knew I had it somewhere, but I didn't remember where I put it and I just found it and it's just so special. And that's why I keep it in here. It's very special to me so that I can read it whenever. And that's it. So this is, this is my setup right now. I'm loving it. It's been finalized for just a few days, but I can already tell that it's gonna work for me. And I'm really happy with, like when I open it up, I'm so happy about the colors and like what I have in here. And I feel like it's functional and beautiful and I'm excited. So I love seeing this from other people. I love seeing people's setups and getting ideas. So that's why I wanted to share it with you. And so um, I would love to know if you have shared your setup recently, please leave a comment if you have. And uh, subscribe, like this video if you liked it. All right, thanks guys, I'll see you later.